Okay, welcome to this class on uh, uh, the stormwater management model software. Uh, today we have a guest lecturer, it's Kurosh Bezadian from the University of West London, and he will give you an overview of the code, how to use it, and then a short tutorial uh, for you to complete an exercise during the live session in Zoom. So I leave now the floor to the guest speaker. Uh, Kurosh, feel free to start. Hello, everybody. I hope you have a good day. So uh, today's session, we're just gonna go through with the software tool. Uh, it's called Stormwater Management Model or as an acronym SWML or SWIM. So today we have a lot, uh, first of all, an introduction about the software. And then we have a lot of tutorial with a lot of four tasks. And we ask uh, uh, each of you just go through with each task and spend some time on that and work on, uh, on that software uh, with the tutorial that we have. Okay, so let's, let me just go through with the, first of all, some introduction about the software. This is, as you can see, uh, an interface of the software, uh, Storm uh, Water Management Model, or SWIM. So what is the software? The SWIM is a lot of dynamic rainfall runoff modeling, a simulation modeling that can have a lot of the computational model to just calculate the runoff quantity and the quality from the, for the, Primarily urban areas. Urban areas, we can just use it a number of like the uh, areas that we can call it subcatchments, but it can also use for the natural uh, uh, areas as well, but mainly used for the urban areas. And also, in addition to rainfall runoff simulation model, the software is also used for the routing portion of the software. It is used for to transfer the runoff. Uh, through a like a, a channelized system, it could be like the pipes, channels, storage treatment devices, and so on. So this is the like the Swim software. And uh, so what does it do exactly? The Swim tracks down the some sort of like a simulation for the uh, hydrological part, the quantifying the uh, quantity and the quality of the runoff for each catchment, and also for the hydraulic part, it can do. Uh, it uh, flow rate and depth of the water uh, quality for each conduit. So one section is related to the hydrology and one section related to the hydraulic. Uh, so what is the application of the software? It's mainly for use for the design of the uh, drainage or we can say urban drainage system uh, for flood control. And you can just download the software from this link. Uh, it's developed by the US Environmental Protection Agency or US EPA from this link. You can easily find the software uh, from internet. So if you want to just compare the software, the Swim software with other uh, contemporary uh, commercial version of this kind of like the model, we can have the Swim, uh, another like the similar uh, software, but is more like a commercial version. It's called, uh, another software is called like a sewer cat or sewer gems. Uh, there are different versions of the software, but they're just gonna use for different application or specific application or, uh, or civil store or storm cat. All of these has been developed by a company called Bentley and that has got like the hydraulic and hydrological modeling. Another software tool, which is similar to the uh, Swim, which has used the uh, simulation engine of the Swim software, is developed by the Autodesk uh, company. Autodesk company developed a software that you can just easily install it. It's called Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis. Uh, if you install the AutoCAD Civil 3D, you should be able to see this kind of like the module. And this is the interface of the software, you can see that is a very user-friendly with the like the AutoCAD. Uh, the, the last one that I'm just gonna show it here that use again, the simulation engine of the stream is called like the micro drainage or the uh, XP stream or InfoWorks developed by InnoVis, especially most of the like the UK water company and consultancy, they're just gonna use this one and with this environment. But all of them, the conceptual model is for all the software are the same. Uh, Okay, let me just go through with the, like, the next one. So before we just gonna go to the uh, tutorial, we need to just uh, see what is the problem description that we're just gonna go and solve in here. So we have uh, a problem description, the catchments uh, that in, within the tutorial, we're just gonna go through with that. 
First of all, the catchment, the situation is uh, before development, we can call it like the undeveloped site. You can see the contour lines here. For example, this is like the area that we are going to develop to just make it uh, like the urbanized area. For example, you can see the uh, contour lines here, the slope gradients uh, in the higher level are in here. And uh, you can see this kind of like the uh, contour lines decreasing from like the 4979 to 4967 feet. Okay, so, and you can see the slopes are just towards this way, and this is like the outlet point. So this is the before development. After we have the development, we can have a lot of urbanized area like this. You can see different like the households, you know, with different sizes. For example, it could be like the uh, detached houses, semi-detached, trace houses like this one. You can see they, they are a lot denser in this part. This is like the larger, and you can see the roads. These sort of things are normally prepared by the urban planner. You know, once we have like a, a development area, we're just gonna have. So our purpose is to uh, look at the urban drainage system. But first uh, question here is that we want to see once we have like a before development area like here and after developments, once we have here, what is the impact of the urbanization or civilization on the uh, uh, flood? Uh, or the peak flow of the flood. So we're just gonna see, uh, so again, if you just gonna have like a channelized system, for example, you, you can see this kind of like the uh, green and uh, uh, the black lines are the like the sewer system. We discussed about them in detail later on. But if you have like the drainage system, we're just gonna lay down in this kind of like the area. This is like, the, for example, park, like the green area, this is the house pavement, the roofs and other things. So all the like the surface runoff like the collected and drain and discharge to this kind of like the drainage system. Eventually they just gonna do the like a hydraulic simulation. They're just gonna drain into here at the bottom. So we want to just in the first like the task, we want to just compare uh, the uh, peak flow or like the, the flood before the development and after the development. So this is the uh, things that we want to just run in the first uh, uh, task. Okay, so we have like the task one. So we have like a time for that. There's a like the word file and uh, that Gabriela will explain how you can just download the file and where you can access to the files. So you should be able to just download the file. Uh, Gabriela would like to just explain here a bit about how to download before going or I can just go ahead with that one. Uh, you are muted, Gabriela. You are muted. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. <laughs> so thank you very much, Gurash, also for the very nice introduction. Uh, so just to mention here, all the material for this tutorial will be uploaded in Moodle. So you will simply have to download all the files and download the code as explained by Kurosh, and then try by yourself to uh, do the exercises that are explained in the Word file. But again, all the material will be made available in the Moodle page. Uh, so Kurosh, you can uh, continue. <laughs> OK, thank you very much, Gabriela. So uh, I'm just going to go through, we have like a four tasks uh, to do in this like the session. Uh, I'm just going to go through with all the slides quickly and there is like a Word documents. Uh, so please just uh, look at the Word documents carefully. And we have a separate recordings related to how to work with the software that is recorded separately. Uh, after finishing this one, I'm just going to go with that one, but you can just look at once you're just going to look at this one, you can just at the same time uh, stop this recording and look at the like the how to work with the software. But the way that you can see how the software is working, you should be able to find some other like the tutorials from the like the YouTube and other like the tools in the internet as well. But we are very specifically focused on show you how you can just work with this one. And the other like the points here, there are like four examples. Uh, there are four like the files, uh, and and here we just converted all the files in the SI or a metric units because the original file uh, provided by the F US EPA in the websites are available as like the English units. But we converted all of them as a like the uh, SI units so that you can just understand better how to work with that. Anyway, so the. Task one, we need to just understand the basic model simulation in SWIM. So we, you need to just load the, like the, uh, the, the examples, like the before development is uh, through the like example one file, the pre-development, it shows like a pre-development or undevelopment, and, uh, uh, and the one after that is like the post-development. 
and you need to just observe the results over the simulation period and compare the peak flows at the outlet or the outfall here. Uh, so uh, peak flow means like the total inflow. Once we're just going to go with the total inflow at the most downstream points in here at this point, and we need to compare these two points together. So under different uh, conditions of the rainfall. So this is like the pre-outfall and uh, different conditions of the rainfall, meaning that we have the storm uh, for different uh, return periods of the like the two years, 10 years and 100 years with the durations of two hours, two hours for all of them, what we three like the return period. So once we're just gonna uh, uh, compare and once we practice with that in 20 minutes, you will see the results like this one in here. Uh, you will see, for example, for undeveloped sites, uh, this is like the, the variations of the uh, flow. This is like the flow at the most downstream point. This is called like the outfall. And uh, this is called the hydrograph. Hydrograph is showing the variations of the flow. And at the top, the vertical, the, 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 the second horizontal axis is a lot of, uh, the variation of the rainfall, the variation, variations of the rainfall over the time. So you can see here, there is a lot of peak of that one. And uh, this is called hydrograph as well. So hydrograph and hydrograph. Hydrograph is this one, this is a hydrograph. So the left-hand side figure is the situations for the de before development. And the right-hand side, uh, you will see the uh, uh, the, the uh, variations of the runoff or the hydrograph after the rainfall for the three return periods. And you can see like the blue for two years, uh, red for 10 years and 100 for green for the 100 years. And the top one is like the hydrograph or the variation of the rainfall over the time. So this is the result of task one. What we'll discuss about this result and what is the like the happiness between like the before and after developments. Uh, uh, in the live sessions in the class. So in the next uh, presentation, we will go through with the like the other tasks, task two, three, and four, and how we can design the urban drainage system and we can add other elements to just improve the like the performance of the peak flow because for example, maybe after urbanization or develop, we might need to just decrease the amount of the runoff or the peak flow. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for watching this. Thank you very much, Kurash. So. <laughs>